MLB The Show 16 carries the torch for the long-running Sony series and continues to raise the bar in nearly every aspect. Building on the already strong foundation of MLB 15 The Show, the overall aesthetics, franchise mode, road to the show mode, and especially Diamond Dynasty mode, all received meaningful additions that make this year's game better than it's ever been. The Road to the Show Career Simulation mode makes its triumphant return with a few clever new features that make it more gamey but also exciting. Once you get drafted and start leveling up your player, consumable and passive perks become available and those open up interesting new ways to feel like your player has superpowers, even if you're not a star MLB player. Having a fly ball hitter perk, which forces fly balls if contact is made, really came in handy when I needed a sacrifice fly to win the game. Passive perks, on the other hand, come into play automatically depending on the situation. For example, if you find yourself in a situation where your player gets to bat with the bases loaded, you can fast forward to a 3-0 count, forcing the pitcher to throw strikes. There is a cost to using perks, however, and that makes using them a difficult decision. Each perk removes time from the brand new showtime meter, which can also allow you to slow down time in critical moments. Is it cheating? Yeah, a little, but it creates great baseball moments, and the AI doesn't care. Additionally, the addictiveness and quickness of each Road to the Show game encourages you to play multiple games in one sitting. An entire series can be played without ever going back to the menu, as long as you're playing against the same opponent and in the same ballpark. The valuable time that used to be spent staring at loading screens in MLB 15 The Show was spent actually playing MLB The Show 16. Likewise, The Show 16's franchise mode is deeper and consequently better than ever. Individual players are now ruled by a morale system, which alters their overall rating. An astonishing amount of information that's now available consistently made me feel like I was making informed decisions in making trades and lineup changes. When a player is angry, his overall rating takes a hit, making my managerial decisions even more complex. The same bits of emotional information become especially useful during contract negotiations. While other modes have been mildly but meaningfully adjusted and expanded, the virtual card collecting game Diamond Dynasty has been vastly improved with Battle Royale and Conquest modes. Battle Royale is the show 16's take on Madden NFL's Draft Champions mode, where you start by drafting a temporary team and try to win as many intensely contested online head-to-head -head matches as possible. Increasingly valuable rewards, in the form of new cards you get to keep, are earned by winning and kept me invested in my team. You're only allowed to lose twice before your team is disbanded, and in order to join in the first place, you're required to buy in using in-game currency. Battle Royale might be the best way to play MLB The Show 16. Conquest Mode builds a turn-based strategy game in which you wager the size of your fan base on the outcome of a single-player game to determine the difficulty. It doesn't do a good job of explaining its complex rules and ended up feeling like a bunch of arbitrary steps I need to take between games. Simply put, MLB The Show 16 is the best baseball game available on any current-gen console. It looks plays, and feels amazing, offering many ways to play the great American pastime. Franchise and Road to the Show modes have made incremental but impressive improvements, while Diamond Dynasty offers entirely new ways to play. Not every mode works, but it's encouraging to see such a radical new mix of gameplay. For more on MLB The Show, stick with IGN.